Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets on Tuesday, 26th of April 2016. Be sure to visit tradesignaler.com and download the latest app via the uh, Google Play and uh, Apple Store, and uh, certainly gain access to my analysis and others in real time. Okay, now European markets, let's see how we can tackle this. Uh, it's an interesting session thus far. In terms of the uh, markets overnight, you've had the US markets certainly got weaker into the close. Uh, along with the uh, Asian markets mixed, you've had the Australian and the Nikkei down, whilst the uh, Chinese markets might stay afloat. The uh, Shanghai and uh, the Hang Seng were uh, lower, but they managed to finish positive towards the close. So an impressive thrust there late towards the session. In terms of uh, economic data this morning, really it's an ongoing theme from yesterday initially. Uh, although I did expect that to be, but obviously I was proven wrong, and I had to subsequently change my bias in terms of trading. I um, the weaker Fed Dallas data yesterday, along with the uh, new home sales from the U.S., certainly put a negative uh, tone on uh, the equity market, along with the German IFO uh, current assessment and expectations, etc., all coming in weaker, and that certainly put pressure on the European indices. That certainly has been alleviated to a large extent this morning, given the uh, fact that uh, the uh, the actual uh, only indices that's actually negative thus far, I think, at present is the French CAC. Uh, and uh, that certainly has turned the uh, tide as well. So more or less flat for the, for the day. Uh, the FTSE certainly is stronger this morning on the back of Boohoo earnings strong, on the back of uh, BP earnings better than expected uh, to a large extent. Although you can read that, you can read, uh, that from a multiple array of uh, perspectives. Um, now... The German DAX uh, more or less flat at the moment, uh, although it was weaker, obviously, given the uh, even though it has shaken off the uh, bearish uh, IFO data yesterday. Now, in terms of news flow this morning, we initially did pop higher, then obviously we were traced backwards now on the back of news with regards to potentially Mr. Draghi being summoned and uh, having to explain its QE program. We've had uh, UK mortgage approval certainly weaker than expected as well. That certainly has put the uh, the FTSE in the back foot. But having said that, FTSE remains well supported due to the uh, fact that uh, we have um, stronger earnings from uh, the likes of Boohoo, BAT, British American Tobacco and BP. Okay, now in terms of the markets, oil prices at the moment, let's bring up the price of oil. Oil prices are absolutely crucial at this uh, current juncture. Oil, yen and euro really are the main um, variables that you need to watch in this market at this current juncture, right? So in terms of oil, let's bring up the chart of oil. Uh, as you can see here, the four hour chart certainly retracing. The daily chart at the moment really seems to be either consolidating or it's going to hold. Either we consolidate and start to thrust higher back up to 46 and 48, or we um, uh, capitulate and obviously move lower. So again, that certainly needs to be uh, watched very carefully. 60 minute chart of oil, as you can see here, languishing at the lows, okay? Uh, although it has attempted to, st uh, to uh, stage some type of recovery here, this bullish engulfing candle. So again, all out, all eyes on the uh, the price of oil, given the importance of oil. Okay, so very very important there. So get all eyes on oil. Uh, having said that, like I said, daily chart certainly is giving you mixed signals. So if we break this uh, bullish engulfing candle, a green candle that we posted on the twentieth uh, of April, then obviously it opens the market down to further downside. So. Again, remain vigilant and be open-minded. In terms of the Euro USD, let's bring up the Euro. So Euro USD obviously spiked in the back of that Draghi news, with Draghi being summoned to explain his QE program, and uh, certainly has thrust the Euro higher, uh, up to the 1.13 level, although we are now coming back to a large extent, so we'll keep an eye out for that. Any uh, retracement there. Now, we did. I, do, I was expecting some uh, inflation data today, but that obviously hasn't been the case. We did get the inflation data out yesterday, We've got durable goods orders, we've got a barrage of US market PMIs, uh, consumer confidence, a rich from Fed. Also, we have oil data, and then obviously we've got Kiwi imports, exports, and uh, inflation data overnight from, uh, I think it's in the following day, I can't remember now whether it's from the RBA or not. Yes, it is from the RBA, inflation data out overnight as well. So that's very important for the Kiwi and the Aussie as well, to a large extent. So oil prices at the moment, as you can see, Certainly holding some level of support if that can, if that can hold, and that's obviously bullish. Copper at the moment still uh, is relatively weak, given the fact that we've held that to $2.3 level, and the market has reversed. So all eyes on the earnings front in terms of the uh, the actual FTSE 
uh, 100 and we'll see whether or not the FTSE 100 can sustain a move higher okay now let's bring up the technical factors now the uh, euro, euro stocks euro stocks remember it has resistance has a wall of resistance at that 3150 3160 zone so again that's going to hold uh, and expect it to hold okay so uh, we've still got the unfilled gap left open at 3117 so remain vigilant of that again the resistance zone is back at 3150 and 3160 on the euro stocks okay bringing up the german dax this is an interesting chart obviously we've hit gap fill we've bounced and it'll be interesting to see how much we can actually bounce okay again if we come back up to that uh, 310 360 zone again then again that's going to be an interesting area to uh, to observe okay and see exactly how the markets respond there so all eyes on that zone as well okay uh, should be quite interesting to say the least okay so again german dax watch to watching out for that particular zone there uh, above now on the daily chart of the german dax even if we bring up the 60 minute chart we did have a uh, H &S formation brewing uh, that certainly seems to have dissipated now with this thrust higher so again ignoring that for now bear in mind we do have the unfilled gap left above so the market can certainly have thrust higher and close out at 10435 before we attempt to make a move lower Uh, and the daily chart at the moment is still trading above the 200 ma so you do have the unfilled gap at 10750 as well so watch out for that okay in terms of the french cac the reason why it's weak is that 200 ma certainly seems to be holding 60 minute chart of the french cac at the moment it's just inside bar consolidation thus far nothing uh, nothing else other than that uh, and the market certainly seems to be holding as well so that certainly needs to be respected to a large extent okay uh, again certainly weak um, given the fact that the euro certainly has started to stage a recovery or a rebound so a watch out for that as well hns on the firm the french cac certainly hasn't held so i'm going to ignore that for now okay all i'm doing is that we have certainly know that we've broken out this rising contracting wedge pattern and you have resistance in this zone so you've got resistance here resistance here and resistance in this zone as well so whether or not how it depends on how if we can hold this red candle consolidate within it and then obviously start to move lower and that certainly will be a bear flag scenario and situation that needs to watch carefully my only reluctance of course concern is that we have this unfilled gap at 4507 that needs to close okay given the fact that we've had draggy comments being so well, draggy being summoned to explain his qe that's again opposition versus qe and that certainly is perceived as being negative and should send the index lower down to close that gap FTSE 100 at the moment all eyes is on on the daily chart as we know we previous support, resistance equals support above the 6220 sub FTSE will be supported uh, psychological reason there 60 minute chart certainly a bull flag situation now i am actually long the FTSE from 6277 and i'll see how much i can squeeze out of here before i switch my bias the inverted head and shoulders remained active so again uh, it certainly is bullish from my perspective and you are looking to look at uh, three six three twenty zone potentially in higher so we'll be watching that very carefully okay so that's something to uh, keep focus on okay in terms of the euro usd let me just bring that up for you as well this is going to be interesting given the fact that we've broken out of this uh, channel here it certainly remains bullish or bias certainly remains bullish from my perspective although you are you do have the 200 ma on the euro stocks So that certainly needs to be watched as well but the pattern certainly is bullish on the 10 minutes chart and there is a, a, a possibility of us hitting that 1.138 again it will be dependent upon the fomc or the fed whether or not they are as dovish or as hawkish as before okay right uh, in terms of the euro and the daily chart it still has held at 75 percent and therefore has that bullish bias and it certainly will cause concerns for the uh, european equities okay so all eyes on there German DAX, let's just bring up the German DAX again. The daily chart, the German DAX. Uh, let's just bring up this. This is a DAX sector automobile. I just want to bring up the DAX again because I think the DAX is going to be crucial here. Let me just bring up the MDAX actually. Let's see exactly where this is trading at the present. Certainly remains weak on the daily chart. 60 minute chart, the MDAX again. Certainly a strong argument for a HS formation. minute chart at the moment has bounced still has the unfilled gap to close below so all eyes on that unfilled gap but from our perspective it certainly is re remaining weak okay the other factor to watch out for as well is the uh, tech all share given the fact that we have earnings from apple today daily chart remains bearish 60 minute chart of the uh, tech all share as you can clearly see there hns formation so remains bearish so from my perspective the german DAX certainly will come under pressure along with the uh, the nasdaq 
and uh, certainly will be interesting to observe how the markets respond there okay so again at this juncture the only um, variable that i'm currently bullish on is the FTSE, and that's due to stronger earnings in terms of european indices it remains mixed okay european indices will be reliant upon the euro and it certainly seems to be the exhausted on the upside the downside certainly seems to be more attractive at this juncture okay i think that's a summation or a good summation folks be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs okay you can certainly take advantage of the uh, our cash bonus offer for new trading accounts of up to uh, 25 percent they are the specialists in spread bank cfd brokerage goodbye now folks.